women can have penises? What the hell? Hey, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. I kid you not, this is the dumbest video that we're going to see all year. I don't think nothing can top this video right here, okay? And this is regarding the Leah Thomas situation. This is crazy, all right? This is honestly crazy. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Also, go in the link description the box below and subscribe to your boy podcast. Y'all, without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. What would you say to the parents of the girls that were swimming today who felt like their daughters were cheated out of a win, who felt like Leah has an unfair biological advantage? And that's facts. She does. She has been transitioning for the past three years, and at this point, there isn't that big of a biological difference. Bruh. Honestly, I feel like... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. They, they might have a concern about... I feel like biological difference there's not a biological difference there's not no biological difference at all all right Bruh. honestly i feel like they they might have a concern about um quote unquote unfair advantage and i mean generally the advantage that men actual men have in um sports comes from hormones but most trans women do undergo hormone therapy, and so they don't have that advantage after they've transitioned. So I don't think anybody was cheated out of anything. Would you say that you see a difference in body type or stature when Leah stands next to other female competitors? Um, I personally have not um, seen Leah, but in general, trans- That's Cap. That's Cap. I, I have personally not seen Leah. Uh, uh, come on, bro. That's Cap women that I have seen, I have not seen very much of a difference. She's just a woman. Just a woman. All women, women come in different body types, women come in different muscle masses. She is a woman. Do, do women have penises? Women can have penises. <laughs> can men get periods? Men can get periods. And can men get pregnant? Men can get pregnant. Bro, go, what school, uh, what school did you go to? Did, what do they teach y'all in school out there? This is not, no, no, if a, if a male get a period, that is honestly, that is disturbing, that is disturbing, that, that's not possible, that, that's not possible, I've been on this earth for 19 years and I have not once had a period, have I had my mood swings, yes, but that's not a period, I, oh my gosh, people are so delusional, like, I, I swear, like, I didn't think people was this delusional, but this is, I, this is, people actually think this way. She said, yes, they can. I don't know if she's trying to be sarcastic, but bro, if you really believe that a woman can have a penis, yeah, you need help. You need Jesus ASAP. This, no. If a woman got a penis, you need to run. You need to run. If if you, if a woman has a penis, you need to get out of there. You ever seen that movie, Get Out? That's exactly what you need to do. Women have penises. How do you feel about that? Sure, you know? Can men get pregnant? Yes. When you guys hear that type of rhetoric, that I can't, I can't, I just can't. Like, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? The, oh, oh, is, you can't make this up. You you just can't make this up. You can't make this up. You can't. You just can't make this up. I wish I, I wish I was making this up with y'all. I, I, I can't make this up. This is honestly true. It's ridiculous, bro. Only women can get pregnant. I mean, uh, how does it make you guys feel? Uh, Be I smart. Tend not to feel it's just uh, incorrect. Yeah, there's not much that I can do. Like, yeah, it's just wrong. Okay. Now look, let me get my thoughts on this situation. First off, let me say this. Dude, for for the trans community, I let me tell you our problem with you guys, okay? Let me let me tell you. Well, let me speak for myself. I'm going to tell you the problem that I have with the trans community. It's not that you guys are trans and that you want to be this, you want to be that. Live your life. I don't agree with the situation or decisions that y'all make, but live your life. I'm not dis I'm not discarding y'all from that. Live your life. Do what you want to do. You feel me? You have free will, but at the end of the day, you do have to pay the consequence for for doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how it is and that's just what I believe. Now, my whole problem is th with the trans community is that you guys you guys pick at women, especially trans women that was actually born a male 
and then want to transform into women. You guys pick at the real women. I mean, even if you want to go back to the Adele situation, you guys was picking at real a real woman for really being a woman. And I feel like it's so unfair for a biological male to uh, compete in a women's sport. You feel me? That's so unfair. That's such a disadvantage. Like, it, just imagine if a if a biological male was competing in a in a women's in a women's football game. That is like totally unfair, bro. That like you can literally truck a woman and boom. Like I mean, bro, that is so unfair, dude. Like it's honestly unfair. That's just the problem that I have with the trans community is that you guys pick at the real women for really being women. Like if you want to be honest, bro, our women, <laughs> like they just honest. Like okay, our women been through a lot. Okay. The women, real women have been through a lot. And then for a man to want to be a woman and then try to pick at women, it's just, it's just so, un it's just unfair. It's just really unfair. I feel like you should stay the person that you was created as. If you was created as a man, stay a man. There's no need to change your gender and the identity that you uh, have for another, for another identity or another gender. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it's no point behind that. Just stay what you are. But love who you are. Like I feel like a lot of y'all don't love yourself. So for y'all not to love yourself, y'all end up picking that other women. Now other women start to not love themselves because they feel like, oh wow. I mean, then then wait, hold on. Did somebody just win like a woman a women's award and they're transgender? If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's what I heard. But if that is false, then I could do more research on that. But I'm just saying, bro, it's really unfair. So my whole problem with the trans community is I don't like how y'all pick up the real women for really being women. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been through a lot. Women been through a lot and they still going through a lot. I mean, honestly, now they now they going through this. Now you telling me that biological man can compete in women's sports? Like, come on, bro. These women been training their whole life. This probably been the sport they've been doing since they were six, seven years old. And for a biological man to come in and step in and just beat them and everybody, oh my God. He's a woman. He's a woman. He's a woman. He did all the he did all the, the hormones and all these medications. No, bro. No, just because he did all this doesn't make doesn't it doesn't matter. He is still biologically a man, bro. And naturally, scientifically speaking, a lot of men naturally are stronger than women, are more athletic than women. I'm not saying that women are not athletic. I'm not saying that. But 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 uh, scientifically speaking, I mean, men are way stronger than women. You know what I'm saying? Men are way stronger than women half of the times. There's a lot of women out here that could really knock a dude out, but <laughs> most likely 90, 95% of the time, bro, a man is way stronger than a woman, way more athletic than a woman. And for that, for Leah Thomas or whatever the freak the name is, Leah Tum Thomas, whatever, for that person to come into a woman's sport after all these women been training their whole life for this, they finally made it. And for that man to come in, and just beat them and get a award like what bro it's just so unfair dude and for people to actually think like this and say oh well women can have women can have penises and i mean no wait yeah women can have penises men can get on their periods like, bro come on dude you, you don't even know what you're saying bro you're just honestly you didn't have nothing else to say so you're trying to be sarcastic with your answer but that's not going to work just be honest and be like okay i see what you're saying that's it because trans women are not real women they're not bro they're not women can't have penises men can't get periods men can't have titties unless they're man titties okay but they literally cannot have none of that bro everything that a woman have on her body a man cannot have everything that a man has on his body a woman cannot have and i'm not saying arms legs so don't be sarcastic in the comments not saying that i'm talking about titties penises all that we like women can't have i mean well Women can't have penises, men can't have titties. That's what I'm trying to get at. So the whole the whole purpose of this video is, dude, we have to do better. And for women to act, for act, real women to think like this, it's ridiculous. I ain't never heard real women actually speak like this. I mean, like, <laughs> this, this was the dumbest video I've ever had. I didn't even have, I don't even know what to say no more. For real women to honestly think like this and believe that this man is a real woman. Because they went through all these hormones and all these different changes. Like, play with your mama, then. man. Play with your mama. All right. <laughs> like, for real. This is ridiculous, dude. Uh, but look, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Like I said, follow your boy on IG. Also, 
Subscribe to your boy podcast channel. Listen to Lean Scripture Boss below. For real, for real this time. Okay, last video, I forgot to do it. This video, dead serious. Lean Scripture Boss below. Go ahead. Let me know what y'all think on this situation about Leah Thomas. Uh, do y'all feel like it was a fair game? Do y'all feel like it was unfair? Like, what do y'all think? How do y'all feel about the trans community? Do y'all respect them? And that's another thing, bro. I respect the trans people. I just don't support what they do. But I kind of lo I lo I lose respect when people pick at other people. You know what I'm saying? That's when I kind of lose their respect, but I don't lose it as a whole community of people. It's just certain trans women I just can't mess with because they pick at real women. You know, they pick at real women. They join real women's sports. They do. They try to be a real woman, but they're not a real woman. Like, I just I just can't. You know what I'm saying? I just can't respect that. But I respect them as people. That's why I could say I respect them as a people, as people, but I just don't respect what they do or support what they do. Simple as that. Hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications, be your boy to pay. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless, stay blessed. Peace.